Okay, so you've created a leaflet icon, and now how the heck do we get it into your map? So what I have here is just a generic, um, just a generic, basically, leaflet map. I've, I've brought in leaflet, uh, the API. Let me just review the code here. I'll, I'll go to code. So I've linked to the style sheets. I have my own style sheet. I have the leaflet style sheet. I've linked to the downloaded and linked to the leaflet API JavaScript um, plugin. I have created a, a header with a title in it. It's in a div. And then I have a map div, which you need for leaflet. And then I have my leaflet script in this div, basically everything to deal with the leaflet map. And then I have a footer div at the bottom that's kind of sarcastic that this was fun, wasn't it? And I can show that to you right here. If I double click on this, well, Theoretically, I should be able to show you. Okay, there it is. I have two points here. I have this point of, this is Ian, but that's not Ian. Those are my kids. And I have this hello world, the standard pop-up. All right, and I bring in some cloud-made background map. So cloud-made styled background map. All right, so we, this is what we have, a base map. The goal is to switch these silly teardrop things into uh, a house icon and at least one of them. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's go back to Dreamweaver. And just to quickly review, we have a variable called map. It's a leaflet map. It's set to be in the Midwest where I am right now. And then we have a tile layer and you can get this. Um, this is an API number that you can get for free from CloudMade. So if you go to cloudmade.com or something like that, CloudMade Maps, type it into Google, get a free API. This is our tile server, blah, 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 maximum zoom 18, let's change that to 16 just for the heck of it. Some attribution information, which they like you to put there, although the hacker ethic in me is like, why even give them, anyway, so, um, and then we have this marker. This is the first marker we have, and we have a second marker here um, that is basically doing the same thing. Now, we'll see that this pop-up says, hello world, I am a pop-up. And in this pop-up, I did something a little more funky and it's kind of fun. I added an image, I gave it an ID. There's the image, goofy web. And then I um, put a break and a paragraph and ha added some text. Now up here, you'll see that I have my leaflet CSS, which you're not allowed to edit because it's not ours. Well, actually you can edit it if you download it. I have the leaflet JavaScript. And then I have this other CSS file on the side that I created. And here's where I actually, I just want to show this to you because it's important. I can still control how my image in the pop-up window looks because I have CSS, it has an ID, and I've given it, you know, automatic margins and a 300 width. Okay, so let's go back to the source code. What we want to do is give these add icons to these markers. Well, the first thing you're going to have to do is create a variable. Now, again, in JavaScript, you create variables to hold data and information so that you can easily get it later. We're going to create a variable called house. And um, then you have to say, well, what is this variable? So equal sign. And anytime you want to create a new icon, you type this equals capital L for leaflet. You'll see that a lot in leaflet JavaScript icon parenthesis, mustache, and then I always do this, I'm a big fan of this, mustache, parenthesis, semicolon, so you can't screw it up. Now we've, we've created this icon, right now it has nothing, there's no information, it's still a variable, it's an icon variable, there's no information in it, but no matter what, our code won't be screwed up because of forgetting to type this end bit. It's kind of really smart to do that, I think. Anyway, so then what we need to do is we need to create... Um, an icon URL and URLs all lowercase so camel case there and this should go in quotes of course and just so you can see what I'm doing I have my leaflet uh, demo HTML here I have an assets folder and in here this assets folder I have an icons folder and then there's the house PNG and the house shadow PNG so what we need to do is period slash assets slash icons house dot png oops comma here shadow url and 
And there we go. All right, so we've got uh, these two features. Now, we have a variable, but still it's not being applied anywhere. So let's, let's um, apply it to one of these. How do we apply it? We have two markers here. We have one at 43 degrees north, 93 west, and one at 43.5 degrees north, 92 west. I'll pretend that this one's my house just for simplicity's sake. And all you have to do is after the, um, after the coordinates, you add a comma and you add a little more information. You got to do the mustaches again, icon. And I called this variable house. So we can say use the house variable. And we'll do those little mustaches again. And that should do it. Now, let's hit save. I'm hitting control S on my keyboard, but just so you see that I'm really saving it. And please work. I'll hit refresh in the browser. And there we go. We have our little house. Now, one thing you'll notice is the shadow is right behind the house. Now, you can see a little bit of the shadow here because I squashed the shadow, as you might recall, at the last minute. And so it's a little bit lower. What we want, though, is the shadow to be a little bit more visible, a little bit to go off to the edge a little bit. Um, but let's click on this and make sure it works. There it is. This is Ian. This is where he lives. That's not true. And this isn't really... Anyway, besides the point. And this one's still working. So we've embedded our own icon here. This is great. Pink house for Svenja. All right, but let, we can add more information under this variable that will allow us to uh, basically have a little more control over our icon. So we can do icon size, for example. And these um, attributes go in brackets typically. And so it's 36 by 36, but we could make it that, remember if you recall, I made it 36 by 36 pixels. But let's make it 24 by 24 pixels. And I'll just put that there. All right, and then what about uh, shadow size? Whoops. Shadow size, we can do, um, well, let's go a little nuts. Let's make that 36 by 36, just to see what happens. Sometimes you have to play around. I'm not a shadow guru myself. Um, size of the shadow, that's pretty self-explanatory. And we can do um, shadow anchors, icon anchors, pop-up anchors. So let's do, uh, whoops. And I'm just guessing here, I don't really know. But the icon anchor is where is the, the basically point of the icon which is going to correspond with the actual location of the, the point. And this is kind of crazy, I don't know. Maybe we should do 36. But anyway, you can add, I'll just show you some of the other things you can add. You can add shadow anchor. And you can add pop-up anchor. There are probably even more things you can add. So you can play around with these features. Let's see what happens. This might be wonky. I'm going to hit save. Let's go and refresh. All right, well, we're getting somewhere. As you can see, the shadow was much bigger. Um, the shadow anchor, I didn't create a shadow anchor, so it's going to be anchored differently than the house anchor, which I did create. But we can see that uh, there is definitely a drop shadow. And I think that that's a little too big, so we'll just tweak it a little bit more. We'll say the shadow size should be maybe, maybe 28 by 32 or something. We can make it squat that way. Um, and then let's add a shadow anchor and see what happens when we do that. Let's do 22 by... 40. So you can play around with this. The thing is, once you get it done, once you do it once, you can save it. That's, that's looking better. You can save it and, you know, use this icon over and over, and it makes life much easier. So that was how to embed an icon in in your map. The trick for if you wanted to include it in more than one place, you would simply add this here, and now both of them should have 
should being the keyword because things rarely go well when you're demoing, should have houses. There you go. Just like that. So that's adding your own icon. Make them look more beautiful than that. And let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.